Well, good morning. Good morning, especially uh, for those of you young ones that are here. And uh, for those of you that are at home, uh, God's blessings to you guys this morning. Today is the bap- we're celebrating the baptism of Jesus. And it's actually kind of fun because last week we had a baptism. Today we're celebrating Jesus' baptism. Next week there's another baptism. It's like a baptism sandwich. It's excellent. <laughs> And so, um, but today we're talking about, uh, Pastor will be talking with us especially about uh, who Jesus is, his identity, uh, also our identity, and who we are. And so, how many of you boys and girls have a name? You have a name? Excellent. Excellent. Good. I want you guys, you know, if someone says, who are you, one of the first things you might say is, well, if I was asked, I'd say, I am Nathan. That's who, one of the ways we see who I am. So on the count of three, I want you to say, I am, and then your name. One, two, three. I am. Excellent. Good job, guys. Uh, good job at home, too. <laughs> um, and it's a, there's a great verse that um, Elder Slater read a little bit ago um, that uh, said, God has called you by your name, that you are his. And that's an important verse for you boys and girls to remember. Um, But your identity kind of goes a little deeper than that, too. Um, You boys and girls, I want you to look over to your mom or dad, and I want you to say, I'm your child. Can you do that? Count of three. I'm your child. Oh, I didn't count. One, two, three. I'm your child. Three syllables that threw me off. Um, yeah, you know, but your, your identity, who you are is deeper than that. I want you to look up to heaven and on the count of three, and I'll actually count this time. Um, on the count of three, I want you to say, I'm your child too. So on the count of three, one, two, three, I'm your child too. And there's another verse, um, it was actually used in our confession absolution. I heard it. Um, that says, it's in 1 John chapter 3, verse 1. It says, how great is the love that the Father has given you or lavished upon you that you should be called children of God, for that is who you are. And that's a pretty special verse. I want you to remember that verse. I'm going to say it again. How great is the love that the Father has given you that you should be called children of God, for that is who you are. Well, boys and girls... You know, we mentioned names a little bit ago. Sometimes I say different names for my boys and for my boys at home. You guys might have a nickname or something else your parents might call you. When my boys are going crazy and running around the house, hopefully they're not doing that right now. Um, but when they're doing that, sometimes I might say, "You little monkey, you calm down." <laughs> or I might say, or if they do something kind of cute, I'm like, "Oh, you turkey." You know, I might use these fun little names with them. Well, Jonathan, one of the things my youngest, he says. I'm not a turkey. I'm Jonathan. I'm John John. That's his. And so he knows who he is. But boys and girls, I want you to always remember not just who you are and your name. I want you to remember whose you are, that you belong to Jesus, that you are God's child, and that he loves you. Amen? Amen. Uh, Gracious God, we give you thanks that you have called us by name, that we are yours. Lord, that through faith... Uh, um, through faith that comes from hearing the word and or faith that comes through baptism, Lord, that we are made your children. Lord, we can't thank you enough for that. And Lord, even when we disobey, even when we don't listen, Lord, we're still your children because you love us, you forgive us. And that's exactly what you sent Jesus to do, to die on the cross, to rise again, so that we could be not just your children now, but your children forever. In Jesus' name, amen.